Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Wong Sun. It's my pleasure to announce we have another beautiful drawing for the classroom wall. I tell you what, there's a lot of talent in this room. I stayed up till 3 a.m. working on this. Because we all know what day it is, don't we? Finally, the coolest celebrity ever called Pigeon Head is here to give us a talk about Pigeon Intentions. Does anyone have any questions before we start? Sir, are you married? Yes, to my work. Work is all I need. Mainly because I believe if I stop working for more than 27 minutes, I will die. We have no control over time. Entire days, weeks, months, and years becoming a blur. Let's get started, shall we? Everyone please give Pigeon Head a warm welcome. Hi, I'm Pigeon Head. Hello, Pigeon Head. You may have seen me in the hit series Pigeon Head or just hanging around schools. I love to teach important lessons to young human heads and today I will teach you about the importance of having pigeon intentions. A pigeon intention is when you do something for a good reason and not a bad reason. The opposite of a pigeon intention is a crow intention. It's important to never have a crow intention. Even if you're really mad or the baguette bully smack over the head with the baguette after school every day for years. This can be a difficult concept to grasp. So let's compare some examples of pigeon and crow intentions. Phoebe bought a fresh baked baguette from his favorite bakery because, one, he wants to make delicious gourmet subways for his friends and family as a fun and tasty surprise too. He's a mini baguette bully and plans to beat up an innocent pigeon head after school. Which one is the pigeon intention? That's right. Number one is the pigeon intention. Let's try another one. Example 2. Sally pokes holes all through Simon's condoms because 1. She wants to get pegs ice up. 2. She doesn't want his dingle dongle to suffocate. Which intention is the pigeon intention now? Have a think it's a tough one. I reckon it's number one because I done it to me boyfriend Darren. Ha ha. 
Almost, but not quite. Number two is the pit of intention by far. Let's try one more, just to make sure. Example three. Can head to schools and educational facilities throughout the world because one, he loves to help young people to understand and navigate this cruel and complicated world. Two, he's a pedo pitch. Of course, the answer, as well as the truth, is number one. What's important to remember in this situation is that it is impossible for a pigeon to have a bad intention. But if you see a minor bird walking around the school, tell your teacher immediately. Sir, the seagull's dangerous too. Seagulls are rape apologists and will steal your chips also. Seagulls? Nobody wants to see gulls. So, what have we learned? It doesn't really matter what you do, as long as you have pigeon intentions while doing it. You know what they say, the road to heaven is paved with pigeon intentions. Don't trust crows. They will hack into your brain and grab you with all files.